What's up guys, it's Cal, and in this video we'll be taking a look at the changes to Shadow Priests coming in Battle for Azeroth, and there are definitely a number of changes. Now just like my other overview videos, this video isn't meant to show you which talents to pick for the best DPS, or how Shadow ranks on the DPS charts compared to other classes and specs, this is merely to show you what's to come. So let's get started. So here are all the baseline abilities for Shadow Priests. Now first thing you might notice, well first off, Shadow Form has not changed at all. Now you might notice Leap of Faith has returned to Shadow because it was removed from Shadow in Legion. And it does the same thing, still a one and a half minute cooldown, you pull spirits of a party or raid member, instantly moving them directly in front of you. Shadow Mend is unchanged, you still heal an ally and the ally will take some damage every one second until they have taken about half of that damage you healed them for total from all sources or after they've left combat. So unchanged. Fade is also unchanged, still a 30 second cooldown, you fade out removing all your threat for 10 seconds. Now Mass Dispel's cooldown has been increased to 45 seconds because it's 15 seconds on live. That's been increased to 45 seconds and its effect still does the same thing. You remove all harmful magic effects from 5 friendly targets and 1 beneficial magic effect from up to 5 enemy targets. And it's potent enough to remove magic that is normally undispellable. So that means like bubbles and whatever. Purify Disease is unchanged, still an 8 second cooldown, you remove all diseases from a friendly target. Let's see, we have Dispel Magic, also unchanged, dispels magic on an enemy target, removing one beneficial magic effect. A Power Word Shield is unchanged, you still shield an ally for 15 seconds, they absorb damage, and it prevents damage from delaying spell casts. Dispersion is unchanged, it was just kind of reworded a bit, but it does the exact same thing. So a 2 minute cooldown, reduces all damage you take by 60% for 6 seconds, you can't attack or do any spells, it clears all movement impairing effects and you're immune to them while you're dispersed, and void form and sanity drain is temporarily reduced by 100% while dispersed. And you can cast it while stunned, feared, or silenced. Now silence has been slightly changed, still a 45 second cooldown, you silence the target preventing them from casting spells for 4 seconds, on live that's 5 seconds. And then against non-players, all interrupt spellcasts prevent any spell in that school from being cast for 4 seconds, so on live that is 3 seconds. Shackle Undead, unchanged, you still shackle a targeted undead dead for 50 seconds, prevents them from doing anything or moving, and then damage will cancel the effect. Now Shadow Fiend has been slightly buffed, still a 3 minute cooldown, you summon a Shadowy Fiend to attack the target for 15 seconds, on live that's a base of 12 seconds, but Mindbender, which is a talent on live, still a talent in BFA, but that base is 15 seconds, so they kind of just move that base. To Shadow Fiend. And then Shadow Fiend will also generate 3 insanity each time it attacks. Vampiric Embrace has been buffed kind of a significant amount, so it's going down from a 3 minute cooldown to a 2 minute cooldown, and for 15 seconds you heal all nearby allies for 85% of any single target shadow damage spell you deal, which is 40% uh, on live. And I believe in WAD, and I think it actually may have been before Warlords, that was like 75%, but it's now going to be 85% in BFA. Shadow or Pain, the only change to it is that it will now last on the target for 16 seconds, down from 8 seconds. It's still a dot, still generates 4 insanity. Kind of the same thing with Vampiric Touch, it does the same thing, it just lasts on the target for 21 seconds, down from 24 seconds on live. Still heals you for 50% of the damage dealt, and if it's dispelled, the target flees for 3 seconds, and it still generates 6 insanity. Mind Blast, still has a cooldown based off your haste, still does a moderate amount of shadow damage, the only change to it is it will now generate 12 insanity, whereas on live it's 15. So, slight nerf. Now, Mind Flay is completely unchanged. You still cast it on target, you channel it, still reduces their movement speed by 50%, and it still generates 12 insanity over its duration. Now, Void Eruption has been changed slightly. So when you use it on a target, it will now deal damage to all targets within 10 yards of that target when you cast Void Eruption. Whereas on live, it would just apply Shadow or Pain and Vaporic Touch to all targets around that target. And then on top of that, it requires a base of 90 Insanity to activate, whereas on live it's 100. Now Mind Seer is returning as an ability because I believe it was 7.1.5 which changed it to a passive ability, but now it's once again an actual ability that you channel. And it was just changed slightly. Cross of Shadow Energy radiates from the target, dealing shadow damage over 2.7 seconds to all enemies within 10 yards of the target, and it generates 5 insanity over the duration per target hit. Psychic Scream has been unchanged, a 1 minute cooldown, causes 5 enemies within 8 yards to flee, disorients them for 8 seconds, and then damage can interrupt the effect. Uh, resurrection, don't know why they change Resurrection, but it is completely unchanged. Power Word Fortitude is coming back to Priests, which is awesome. So some classes are getting their class buffs back, 
Priests are one of them. Power Word Fortitude still does the same thing that it did before. You can use it on yourself, give yourself 10 stamina for an hour, or you can use it on a party raid member and it affects your entire raid or party, whatever. Gives them all 10% stamina for an hour. Mind Control is completely unchanged. You still control an enemy's mind up to one level above you for 30 seconds. Still doesn't work on demonic, mechanical, or undead beings. And it still shares diminishing returns with other effects. Uh, Levitate is unchanged. Use on a party or raid member for 10 minutes and they can walk on water, they get slow fall, all that sort of stuff. Uh, mind vision is unchanged. You can still see it through the target's eyes and can't be used if the target is in an instance or on another continent. So those are the baseline abilities and you may have been able to tell that a shadow word death is no longer baseline. It is becoming a talent, which I'll talk about when I get to the talents. Now, as far as the passive abilities go, we have, uh, let's see, mastery. So your mastery has been, I, th I think, buffed. It now affects a lot more abilities. It increases your damage of shadow or pain, vampiric touch, mind blast, mind flay, mind shear, void eruption, and void bolt by a certain amount based on your mastery. And I believe on live that just affected Shadow or Pain, Vampiric Touch, and Void Bolt. Shadowy Aberrations is completely unchanged. Your Shadow or Pain damage over time critical strikes create a shadowy version of yourself that float towards the target dealing shadow damage. Uh, Void Bolt is pretty much unchanged. The only change to it is that it will extend the duration of Shadow or Pain and Vampiric Touch by two seconds, whereas on live that's three seconds. Still generates 16 insanity, still replaces Void Eruption. It pretty much does the same thing. And then Void Form has actually been nerfed. So it will now increase your shadow damage by 10%, whereas on live that's 20%. It will reduce the cooldown of Mind Blast by one and a half seconds, whereas on live that's three seconds. And then it grants an additional 0.5% haste every one second, whereas on live that's 1% haste every one second. So Everything's been halved, and then your insanity will drain increasingly fast until it reaches zero and void form ends, which is obviously on live. So those are all of the baseline and passive abilities. Now let's take a look at the talents, and I'll also talk about the PvP talents in case you care about those at all. So for the talents, there has been something, at least one thing, changed on every single tier. So let's start with the first tier. Fortress of the Mind is unchanged. Mind Flay and Mind Blast deal 10% more damage and generate 20% more insanity. Shadowy Insight was just moved up to this tier. Now I believe it does the same thing. It's a Shadow Word Pain periodic damage as a chance to reset the remaining cooldown on Mind Blast and cause your next Mind Blast to be instant. The only difference on live is that it, it actually tells you the chance. It says a 10% chance, whereas in BFA it just says, well, it has a chance to reset the remaining cooldown. Now, Shadow Word Void has been changed kind of significantly. It will now actually replace Mind Blast, where I think that makes more sense than how it currently is on live. It will generate 15 insanity, which is down from, I believe, 25 insanity on live, and it has two charges down from three charges on live. And then it has a lower recharge, which is based off your haste. I believe on live, it's, it's just a strict 20 second recharge. So for the second tier, Mania has been just changed slightly. It's actually kind of been buffed, so it increases your movement speed by up to 35% based on your current insanity. How it does on live is that it increases your movement speed by 1% for every three insanity you had. So if you do simple math, if you have 100 insanity on live, that would increase your movement speed by 33.3%. Whereas if you have 100 insanity in BFA, it's 35%. So your varying insanity levels still increase your movement speed, but by a slight increase, very slight increase than what it is on live. Body and soul is unchanged. Still a passive power word shield increases your target's movement speed by 40% for three seconds. And then sand lane has been moved up to the second tier and it has been changed slightly. So it reduces the cooldown of empiric embrace by 45 seconds and increases its healing done by 25%. So this no longer affects vampiric touch. So twist of fate has been moved down to this tier from the first tier and it's ultimately will been nerfed. It's still a passive. After damaging a target below 35% health, you gain 10% increased damage and healing, whereas on live that's 20%, and you gain it for 8 seconds, whereas on live it's 10 seconds. Now, Misery was just moved up to this tier, but it does the exact same thing. Still a passive. Vampiric Touch also applies Shadow or Pain to the target. Now, Dark Void is new. 30 second cooldown, unleashes an explosion of dark energy around the target, dealing shadow damage and applying shadow or pain to all nearby enemies, and it generates 30 insanity. Now for the level 60 tier, Last Word is new. It was originally a PvP talent, now they're making it an actual talent, but its effect is changed. So it will reduce the cooldown of silence by 15 seconds, which is nice. 45 second cooldown down to a 30 second cooldown. Now Mind Bomb 
has been changed. So what Blizzard has originally said is that they're trying to get rid of all AoE stuns. They, I guess, don't want classes to have AoE stuns. So far from my overview videos, the only class I've seen that has AoE stuns are Protection Warriors. They still have Shockwave, although it's been nerfed slightly. But all classes so far I've seen that have had AoE stuns have had them uh, nerfed to some extent. Mind Bomb is one of those. So it was moved down to this tier and it no longer stuns enemies in an eight yard radius. It will now fear enemies within an eight yard radius for five seconds. Now it still replaces Psychic Scream. What is the difference between Mind Bomb and Psychic Scream? Nothing really, just that it's cooldown is halved. So you can have a 30 second uh, Psychic Scream, I guess, if you pick Mind Bomb. Now Psychic Horror is returning. It was actually removed in Legion, but it is coming back in BFA. So it's a 45 second cooldown and it terrifies the target in place stunning them for four seconds. So you do still get a stun, it's just you can only use it on one individual. Now for the level 75 tier, Auspacious Spirits, the only change to it is that your Shattery Apparitions will now generate two Insanity down from three Insanity on live. Now as I mentioned before, Shadow War Death is becoming a talent and it's actually completely unchanged from its uh, live iteration. Still has two charges, nine second recharge, generates 50 insanity or 30 insanity if the target dies and you can only use it on target to have 20% health or lower. And then Shadow Crash was just moved up from the last tier, but it is unchanged. Still a 20 second cooldown, 20 insanity, still has a simp effect. Lingering Insanity was just moved down to the level 90 tier, but its effect is unchanged. So when Void Form ends, its haste bonus fades by 1% every two seconds instead of ending immediately. Mindbender, the only change to it, it's still a one minute cooldown, still replaces Shadow Fiend, still lasts for 15 seconds. But yeah, the only change to it is that it will generate six Insanity each time it attacks rather than eight Insanity on live. Now Void Torrent is returning as a talent. So this is actually what the Shadow Artifact weapon granted you, but uh, we won't have artifacts anymore so they just change void torrent into a talent and it uh, does the exact same thing the only change to it is that its cooldown is being reduced from one minute to 45 seconds so you deal shadow damage to the target over four seconds and its entity does not drain during this channel and it requires void form now for the final tier legacy of the void has been changed so void eruptions cast time is reduced by 40 percent and may be cast anytime your insanity level is 60 or higher so on live that's 65 or higher dark ascension is new. One half minute cooldown, you can immediately activate Void Form and it can't be used while in Void Form, of course, and it generates 30 insanity. Now, Surrender to Madness has been changed. First off, its cooldown is being reduced from 10 minutes to 4 minutes, and then all your insanity generating abilities generate 100% more insanity, which is the same on live, and you can cast while moving for one minute. So it lasts for a minute not until Void Form runs out, but then after that one minute, you take damage equal to 90% of your max health and then cannot generate insanity for 30 seconds. So it'll no longer just instantly kill you. It will now damage you down to 10% health. Now for the PvP talents. If you did not watch my video going over how PvP talents work, this is how it goes. You got four bubbles here. This first bubble is the same for all classes and all specs in the game. It has Gladiator's Medallion, Adaptation, and Relentless. Those are all on the same first tier on live. You get to pick between one of these three and they do the exact same thing as on live. Now as for these next three bubbles, they're all the same. They're just a giant pool of your already existing PvP talents that you have on live. So these names should look familiar to you because, well, they all come from live. As far as their effects, most of them have been unchanged. There have only been two that have changed slightly. So I'm just going to read the names of them and the two that did change, I will talk about what the changes are. But if you want to know what the rest of them do, you can pause the video because I'll be mousing over them or you can look at your Shadow Priest. So we have Void Shield, Pure Shadow, Fleeting Embrace, Driven to Madness, Edge of Insanity, Mind Trauma, Psychic Link, which has been changed. Mind Blast now deals 20% of its damage to all targets afflicted by your Vampiric Touch within 40 yards. So before that was a uh, 30%. I believe it also affected Void Bolt and then it had to do with targets that were afflicted by your Shadow Word Pain, not Vampiric Touch. Then there's Void Shift, Void Origins, Siphoned, which has been changed slightly, so it's still a 45 second cooldown. It still summons a Siphoned with 10 health for 12 seconds beside you to attack the target, but then the Siphlay ability was just changed slightly. It will deal up to 1% of the target's total health, whereas on live it's 2% and shadow damage every some seconds based off your haste, and it still slows the movement speed of the target by 50% and reduces their healing received by 50%. And then there's Shadow Mania, and those are all the PvP talents as well as all of the normal talents. And there you have it. 
all of the current changes to Shadow Priest in Battle for Azeroth Beta. Now it is the beta, so things are definitely subject to change, but there were some things I liked, like the changes to Shadow Word Void and the changes to Surrender to Madness, but there's of course things I didn't like, like the obvious change to Mind Bomb. But that's what the comment section is for, to let out your frustration about the spec or things that you enjoyed, and I'm curious to hear what you guys think about the new Shadow Priests, so you can leave it in the comment section below. But anyways guys, if you like this video, you can leave a like on it. You could sub to the channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.